Hi, Mike from Model Makers Inc. in Rockaway, New Jersey. Today we're going to talk about solvent bonding with methylene chloride and the materials that it works on and the materials that it doesn't work on. And we'll be using um, a couple of different products. It's all methylene chloride, but they come under different brand names. This one is the Easy Fix 303. We have Weldon 3 and uh, this one over here uh, is Resin Bond. They're basically all the same thing made by different manufacturers. Uh, I think today we are actually using Resin Bond. And um, we've got some various materials in front of us. We have acrylics, polystyrenes, ABS, PETG, different forms, acrylic rod and tubing, styrene rod, and uh, some ABS sheet, polystyrene sheet, polystyrene rod, and we'll do a little bit of a demo on how these work. And uh, while we're doing that, we'll talk about uh, which materials do not work well for um, methylene chloride gluing. But what we've got is has some pre-cut pieces of acrylic here, and the general methodology is to just run a bead with your glue bottle applicator along the edge there. You can drop another piece on right here. See how the glue just pulls right into that joint. You got a couple of seconds to make sure everything is lined up. You don't want to move it around too much though. And we can drop those two pieces right onto this other mating piece and what we've got is a quick little column. We'll glue the other side. You can see how the glue pulls right into that joint. And we've got a nice little square acrylic column here. Say we wanted to make a miniature cake stand. We can take the column we just fabricated and solvent weld it right onto that acrylic disc that we cut on our CNC machine. You can see it's already on there fairly effectively. We'll take our other piece of CNC cut acrylic, which is a P95 sheet. This means it's been frosted. And we'll do the same thing. Run the glue on four sides. Give it just a second. And we've got like a little pedestal fabricated out of acrylic with methylene chloride. Here we have polystyrene in a relatively thin gauge. It's 060, which is equivalent to a 16th of an inch. I've already put one wall on. Here I'm putting a second wall on by putting a dot on the top corner. That's going to run the glue right down that vertical joint. We'll put another one on right here. Same thing. We'll put a little bit right up in that top corner. Run the joint. And we'll put our fourth side right in here. Line up the edges, vertical corner, across the bottom, line up those edges. We've got a little box. If we wanted, we could put a top on it. The way we would generally do that is run it off to the side, line it up, and then pick it up. Run a little glue along here. And that is a quickly fabricated closed styrene box. Once the glue dries, we can come in with a file, clean up all those edges, sand it smooth, and you look like you have a solid block right there. It's a different type of material. This is ABS. Glue's the same way. You just 
run it down with a thicker piece like this. We might run glue on both sides and see that it bites very quickly. ABS glues really securely with methylene chloride. Uh, by tomorrow, you won't be able to break that joint if you try. That's going to be a really secure glue joint. Uh, acrylic tubings, same thing, same method uh, as the acrylic. If we wanted to glue that tube there, we would just run glue around. Or if we wanted to add this part to there, we just run glue right around the bottom here and they would fuse together. Uh, this is PETG. Uh, it's a softer, more flexible material than acrylic. And same methodology for fabricating as the acrylic. Run a bead of glue. See how it pulls right in. And there's your joint. These were two CNC parts that we just attached together. Got a nice joint right there. Now, here's a material that looks a lot like the other materials we've got. This is a piece of Delrin um, off of the table saw, and you can see the saw cut. If um, we had put uh, solvent on a piece of black styrene, and uh, just like this, you would be able to see the solvent actually melting away that saw cut. But you can see here, it's really doing nothing and it just evaporated away. It's left no stickiness and no, um, no effect to the material whatsoever. So you can't glue Delrin with methylene chloride. On the other hand, if we were to take some methylene chloride and run it onto this ABS, uh, you can see that it softens up the surface fairly quickly and leaves a sticky surface on there. Uh, the other, some of the other materials that you cannot glue with methylene chloride, uh, in addition to Delrin, are uh, polyethylene nylon, PVC, Teflon, polypropylene, uh, I'm sure there's a larger list, but those are the most common materials that uh, you cannot uh, solvent weld with methylene chloride. And the materials that we typically weld with methylene chloride are polystyrene, uh, this material here, PETG or PETG, polystyrene again in black, uh, ABS, and acrylics.